Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So have you ever noticed that when you sometimes download files from macOS Safari, then sometimes it will automatically unzip it for you. So for example, I'm trying to download this shader pack, which is a zip file. If I click download now, then basically what it's going to do, it will automatically extract the zip file which is not necessarily a good thing because some applications, for example, Minecraft, require the zip file and they don't want the extracted folder. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that issue so that you don't run into this and you can get the original zip file so you can get games like Minecraft working or if you have another application where you want a zip file or you wanna pass on a selection of files to somebody else, you want that original zip, you don't want this folder, then today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the process for this is actually very simple. So we have Safari open here and once we have it highlighted, we can go to the top left hand side of the screen, then go to Safari and then click on settings. So click the settings button here. And within this general tab here, we have this option at the bottom, which is called open safe files after downloading. So safe files includes movies, pictures, sounds, text documents and archives. So the zip file is a type of archive. And this is going to automatically open or extract them. And what we're gonna do is to disable this. So I'm gonna click on this button until the box is empty. Then we're gonna close this down. And basically, we're gonna repeat the process now of clicking and downloading the shader pack zip file. I'm gonna press click here, and then this is going to download that zip file. So that zip file has now kept its integrity and we can move this into our Minecraft folder so that Minecraft can make use of it. Or if I wanted to send it to someone else, I could send this as a file instead of trying to send this entire folder and the contents of it. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.